How is it going everybody? This is Dia. Today's video I'm gonna talk about one of the most important stats of a character but was never introduced in the game, Gauge Speed. If you're not a competitive player or just recently began your competitive journey, this video will help you understand the game a lot better. So don't skip this video and promise me to watch it until the end. By the way, if you're an expert of the game, help me to check everything I say in this video. And if you find an error, please tell me in the comment section and I appreciate it so much. Alright, that's all for the intro. Let's jump into the discussion. What is gauge speed? Well, just ask what you learned in your physics class. Speed refers to how fast something changes. Gauge speed is simply meaning how fast your gauge recovers. After your gauge is fully charged, they will remain the status for 5 minutes in game time, which is about 30 seconds in your real life clock. A lot of people actually didn't notice. Interesting. In strikers, your characters won't be able to use moves unless they have this mystery gauge fully charged, which is quite different than any of the other Inazuma 11 games. Well, please allow me to call those Hisatsuwaza moves in this video, since in Pokemon they are called moves, so why not in Inazuma 11? They work the same. Alright, back to the topic. You and I both know that we want this gauge to be charged as soon as possible, but where do I find those information regarding how fast the character's gauge recovers? I can see the kick, body, or guard stats in game, and in extreme I can even see if there's a plus sign on it. But where do I find the gauge speed information? The answer is we'll have to go directly to this Google Excel link to check everybody's gauge speed. Because this stat is completely hidden in the game, it's like a Pokemon space stat, you will never be able to look at the number directly in the game. Since the stat is never visible to players, why is this so important? Isn't that just something minor enough that the game doesn't even want us to care? Well, when I started this game in Vanilla 2013, I thought Hakuryu is the best character in the game because he had the strongest solo win-win shoot where Earth Keepers are the best, or dominating Keepers in the game. But the fact is that Hakuryu in Vanilla is actually a terribly bad character. Even in draft tournaments, people rank him below stuff like Hayami or Shorin. He's just terrible. You might wonder why one of the best characters throughout the series, while having the best solo shoot move, is this bad. And the reason is directly related to our today's topic. Of course the first reason is that Hakuryu didn't have a mix max back to the vanilla game, so yeah, he won't be that stupidly good as how he performs in extreme. But the second point is fatal. Hakuryu in vanilla game has the slowest class of gauge speed. Let's say you placed him on the field in the first half and waited for his gauge to be fully charged. You will notice that when the first time his gauge is eventually charged up, it's already 16 minutes. Half of the time in the first half has already gone, and he did absolutely nothing during that time. Isn't that stupid? To give a good comparison, Kazemaru and Torb, two of the best defenders of all time, will get charged at 5 minutes and 40 seconds, which is approximately 3 times faster than Hakuryu. You can treat it as the frequency of using moves. In an average match, those characters can use moves 3 times more than Hakuryu does. This is the major reason of why nobody uses Hakuryu in Manila, besides this very one person, Palari. Well, he's the best of the world, 2 times world champion plus MVPs, he can beat the shit out of your ass with any character, so yeah, let's just, just ignore him for now. So yeah, you, you get the idea of how important gauge speed is as a factor of ranking characters. It determines how frequently your characters can initiate a move. And I'm gonna save you guys a little bit of time by telling you most of the good characters' gauge speed in this video. We classify those gauge speed as S, A, B, and C. S means fast and C means slow. But there's one thing I want you guys to remember. These letters only work for when the character isn't keeping the ball. If the character is with the ball, he got 20 other parameters you need to worry about. And we don't want this video to be an hour long, so we just skip that part. S gauge means a character only needs 4 minutes and 10 seconds to get fully charged after kickoff. So 8 minutes and 20 seconds to get fully charged from 0. When I say 0, that means when your gauge got fully cleared. Probably happens after you use your shoot or block, you know. A gauge is a little bit slower, but still considered fast gauge speed in this game. They need 5 minutes and 40 seconds to get fully charged after kickoff, which means 11 minutes and 20 seconds from 0. B gauge is a lot slower compared to S and A. They need 8 minutes and 20 seconds to get fully charged after kickoff. C gauge is just helpless. They need 16 minutes and 40 seconds to get half charged, which means if you put them all in the second half and let their gauge start charging from 0, they will need an entire 30 minutes to get charged only once. That's half of the match. I'll give you guys two lists since there might be people who don't play extreme watching this video. If your characters are not in the list, you can still look it up by clicking on this link. Alright, now you get an idea of how fast the commonly used character's gauge is charged. But remember what I said earlier, this list only works for when your characters don't have the ball. What if your characters keep the ball? Does that make any difference to the list? 
The answer is a solid yes, and that's why I felt the need to make this video. In this game, players are able to control how their gauge grows by making certain moves like pass, shoot, through pass, center pass, sliding, and so on. Every single possible move your character performs can potentially cause an extra increase in gauge. The easiest one is just to keep the ball and, and do nothing else. If you play this game enough hours, you will notice that Tenma doesn't feel like a gauge B, although his gauge speed is a solid B, while not having the ball. This is because Tenma's gauge isn't actually B, it's called Keshin User's MF Medium. This is what the actual gauge speed looks like in game. Besides Keshin User, we also have boys and girls, and they all got different gauge profile in different positions. For example, Kazimaru and Kano are both classified as gauge A while not having the ball, but Kazimaru is a boy MF Medium while Kano is a boy FW medium. Their gauge will recover in a different pattern if you let them touch the ball. Let's take a look of Tenma more specifically. If a gauge B character is a Kenshin user MF, he can recover almost 35% of his gauge just by making one through pass. That also works for Vanilla Shindo because Tenma and Vanilla Shindo are in the same gauge profile. That's why good players Tenma's gauge recovers so fast. Only two through pass will give them 70% of the gauge recovery and he can use another Pegasus break soon again. Besides this, Tenma also has an incredibly huge gauge recovery while just having the ball under his feet. If you make Tenma keeps the ball, his gauge speed goes about 4 times faster than not having the ball. Here's an example in vanilla that shows how you can start with an arm god with ready in only 3 minutes after the kickoff. For most of the defenders, you can increase your gauge charge by just pressing sliding. I know this sounds stupid, but when we want our defenders to get charged as quickly as possible, we just smash the slide button and, and it will work. For more details, please read Infi's article, Inazuma 2013, Inazuma Gage Shio Kenshou. Infi is serious about this game, and he knows the game a lot more than I do. Alright, after this many talks, I hope you guys now understand how the gauge stuff works, and how to do your gauge calculations to predict whether your characters are charged or not. That's the main purpose of this video. Again, if you guys can learn something from me, that would make me very happy. And thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.